Have you ever read about a record-breaking sale at an auction and wondered why you never meet any artists who are rich? Those sales are resales, and the artwork has built a reputation over time, making it worth way more money than when the artist initially sold them. For example, Montreal artist Marcel Barbeau gave this painting to a friend in the 1950s. It was later resold at auction for $75,000. Barbeau didn't receive a penny from that sale. At least 70 countries around the world decided that this is unfair, and have something called the artist's resale right. Every time an artwork is resold, 5% goes back to the artist. It's a modest amount, but it means a lot to the artists. Half of visual artists in Canada earn less than $8,000 per year. Even Governor General award-winning artists find it difficult, if not impossible, to make a living from their art. Musicians and writers are paid for the growing popularity of their work over time through sales of copies. But there isn't the same market for copies of visual art. It's the unique art object that's really valuable and can increase dramatically in price. Canada's Aboriginal artists are losing out on the profits being made on their work. Many artists living in isolated northern communities live in impoverished conditions while their work increases in value. Artists get so little at the beginning uh, uh, of, of selling their art and then if there is a profit to be made down the road, it just seems absolutely without question the obvious thing to do. Those artists should receive a small percentage of that profit. Visit carfact.ca to learn more and be sure to email your Member of Parliament and ask them to support the artist's resale rate.